Hi all, we're uh, here today in our uh, Model Year 22 XC60. My name is Goran Kolsaria, part of Volvo's product team. And I'm gonna show you a demonstration of our new infotainment system with Google. Let's turn the car on. We're in Santa Monica today at the proper hotel. So with our new infotainment system, we've made it very simple and easy to use. As you can see that little icon, it's actually Google. So you'll have Google Maps built right into the display. And very easy and simple to use. Prompts, it can understand just your natural voice, right? So, hey Google, find the closest Starbucks. There are many Starbucks locations in the area and you can tell me the number of as the one you want anytime. The so, one on Wilshire Boulevard is 0 0.3 miles away. So let's say you've actually logged in with your Google account in the car, right? Then it will know your home address, your work, your favorites, and it will actually, like, the latest things that you are searching on Google, Google Maps, will actually show up right in the search area too if you're logged in using your account. So at that point, you could just say, hey Google, take me home, or hey Google, take me to work as easy as that. But not only that, um, let's say you are driving and you're supposed to make a call to a restaurant but you didn't have the number. Hey Google, call Elefante. To make a call, you'll have to connect your phone to the car via Bluetooth. Exactly, so if your phone was already paired to the car, it would actually go online, find the number itself, and dial it for you. So it's just less distractions, right? You just drive and it's doing everything for you, making it easier for yourself. Uh, what else it does is it actually controls features within the car. So, hey Google, turn off heated seats. Sure, turning off the seat heater for the driver. Hey Google, set passenger temperature to 72. Okay, changing the temperature for the front passenger to 72 degrees. And so easy to use, right? Uh, hey Google, turn on heated steering wheel. Got it, turning on the steering wheel heater. What else you'll notice here is the map is also integrated fully into our driver information display. So you get a nice crisp image right there. No need to really take your eyes off of the road because the directions will be right in front of you as well as on your head up display. So whenever you have to make a, uh, let's say you have to make a left, it will already kind of start telling you when the left turn needs to be made right within the uh, driver information display. Uh, what other things Google can do it you again we've been using Google Assistant here to say commands such as Google take me home or Google take me to work but it could also control devices within your house if you have Google home within your house and it's controlling your devices such as the light switches or garage door opener or even your nest thermostat it could all be controlled from the car so let's say you're approaching the driveway and no need to press any buttons or anything. You could just say, hey Google, open the garage door. That's good, as easy as that. The main purpose here is just we want to make the experience easy for the customer, right? We, want, we don't want them to have to learn something new. Google is something that so many of us actually use in our daily lives. That's why we decided to incorporate that instead of have developing our own, which we had census navigation, now we're using Google Maps, which you'll also receive the most up-to-date traffic information as Maps it itself, since new maps are constantly being downloaded in the system. Not only that, you have access to the Google Play Store. So what's really cool here, sorry, so we put, we're not actually logged in into this car, but once you're logged in, you'll have, uh, actually, let's see, yeah, there it is. Play Store. So once you sign in, you'll have access to apps such as Audible, so you can listen to your favorite audiobook, or you can download uh, iHeartRadio, where you can listen to podcasts. Hey Google, play Total Car Score podcast. All right, playing the latest episode of Total Car Score, S2E59, first year anniversary show on Google Podcasts. And just all different entertainment such as like Spotify and the, the ChargePoint app as well too to find the closest charging network or charging station along your journey. 
you'll have access to uh, new apps on a on a constant basis since it's uh, Google Play Store is always adding new new functionality too, right? But not only through Google, it's Volvo is going to be pushing out new functionality as well for the car to constantly being updated. And with that, you won't have to actually bring the car into the shop because it'll be over the air. So no need to actually make appointments, go into the shop, spend all that time. The car will be updated from the comfort of your own home. So while it's in your driveway, software is being pushed, just like your iPhone or your Android device, you know, you get new updates. The car will be getting new, new updates and with the updates, you'll get new functionality over time too. So the car is always gonna be getting better over time. So with Google Automotive Services, like I mentioned, you get your Google Digital Assistant, you get Google Maps, you get access to the Google Play Store, and this is all included with the car, including the data for four years. So no worries about using the data on your smartphone plan, it's all included with the car. So when you're streaming music, when you're looking at maps, you're not using your own personal data, it's using the data from the car. So when you sign in through your Google ID, it's gonna ask you a few privacy questions, whether you wanna share information, whether you want to use Hey Google, it, 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 sorry. it asks you a few different things that you check off, but the car will be listening if you do use the Hey Google functionality because it's listening for the prompts that you wanna command it to do, right? But otherwise, um, data, uh, you could read exactly the whole terms and conditions and see what you want to actually let the car know what's going on. So you do have access to that. Besides that, yeah, it's really up to you what you want to share, what you don't want to share. And even if you don't have a Gmail account, you could still use the system by logging in through your normal ID, but you just have to pair it to Google. So you don't necessarily need to have a Gmail account as well. What's really cool is actually all this technology is already currently available. So Google Automotive Services is actually available today in our Model Year 22 XC60, S90, V90 Cross Country, as well as our XC40 Recharge. And we'll be releasing it to future models down the line. All right, so now that we know how the system works a little bit, we're actually gonna start our journey and we're gonna go to, hey Google, take me to Reagan Ranch. Sure, Reagan Ranch. All right, let's get started. There we go. Thank you. Mm -hmm. 